Hello everyone, greetings to one and all. In today's episode, we are going to discuss in detail about the read statements using binary search. This is an important syntax used in a developer lifecycle. This read statement is used often across different contexts of the developer lifecycle. This is very helpful in almost most of the parts of our programming models that we have designed. Read statements also plays an integral part in choosing the right data to validate process or to proceed further. So in real time scenarios, the simple use cases of read statements are used to en read entries from internal table. The statement works better using binary search statement. We will see about that in the coming example. Sorting the internal table is key when binary search is used. I'm going to explain the binary search and why the sorting is key with a simple binary search algorithm explanation. I'm going to explain this binary search using a simple set of numbers. Now consider this is the set of numbers that we have in hand. 46, 27, 91, 75 and 19. Now we are going to use the binary search algorithm by finding for finding this 27 number. Okay. Now, the first step of this binary search algorithm is sort the numbers. So step one, I'm sorting this numbers 46, 27, 91, 75, 19 in an ascending order. So the number gets realigned like 19, 27, 46, 75, 91. The second step is find the middle number, which is 46. Now in the third step, now consider X, where X is 27 in our case. Execute the condition. Validate yourself. Is 27 is greater than lesser than 46, greater than 46, or 27, or, or equal to 46. The reason why we are comparing 46 because 46 is the middle number. In this case, 27 is lesser than 46. So in the next step, everything on the right is eliminated. Now we repeat the process with the remaining set of values. From the remaining set of values, find the middle number, which is 27. In the step 6, again, whether the number what we want to find is lesser than 27, greater than 27 or equal to 27. In our case, it is equal to 27 and we found the number. So this is a simple example on how binary search algorithm works on numbers. Okay. Now, out of all the steps that we found out, see the condition what we are using on step number 6 and the condition what we used on step number 3 and finding the middle numbers in step 2, finding the middle numbers in step 5 and eliminating the numbers in step 4. What is the key aspect for all these steps to happen correctly? Sorting the numbers, right? So sorting the numbers plays a vital role in finding the number using binary search algorithm. I hope you understood the relevance between sorting and binary search now. Now, in a real case demo, in our SAP ABAP, app, we will find out how these two statements are significant. I have written a simple program where I am trying to get an input from the user and I am going to search the index value of this particular material number from all the entries that I have in Mara table. Okay. So in short, if I will also show you the entries in Mara table, I have chosen lesser number of fields just to uh, I mean, just to avoid any performance issues, I, I, I only chose the lesser number of columns here. So these are all the material numbers I have. I have a total of 110914 entries and these are all the entries I have in place. Okay. Now let me simply drag down. Let me choose a particular number. Let me choose this number randomly and I'm going to search this number in this program using a variety of read statements. In the debugging mode, I'll explain what's happening with each of these read statements. Okay, now let's jump into the demo. I'll execute, I will enter the material number that I wanted to search. I'll give F8. Since I have placed a breakpoint already, now the debugger tool gets triggered. In order to understand about the breakpoints and the debugger tool usage concepts, I recommend you all to go through my debugging series from the channel. It will be very helpful to have a deeper insights of debugging. 
So as I showed you in the table, you can see here the internal table has the same number of entries. Now I'm proceeding further with the first read statement. This is the material number that I'm going to search. I'm just trying to find the index number. This is a system variable that will be holding the index number. After each read statement, I'm just trying to find the index number. Just my intention here is only to explain the read and binary search concepts. So I have written a simple code here. When the entry is not found, I'm writing a not found message. Now, if you see here in the first statement, I'm not using any binary search. It is just a simple read statement with the key field where I'm feeding the value of the material number in the read statement. F5, you can see the size sub RC value. The size sub RC value is zero, which means that the read statement has got successfully executed and the index value is 28,465. So this is a very normal read statement. Okay. Now moving on to the next read statement, I'm sorting this internal table by a field called MATNR. However, I'm just sorting it, but I'm not using any binary search in my read statement. So let me just see if my read statement works. My read statement still works. However, since I have sorted the internal table using this MATNR field, the index value gets changed to 52,278 because of the sorting. Okay, so my read statement is still successful. Now moving on to the third condition where I'm sorting by a field called MATKL, but I'm reading the table with binary search and in the key I'm giving MATNR field again. Let's see if this is getting successful. You see here my size sub RC value is not equal to zero, which means that my read statement is not able to read the value of this material number. Did you ever wonder what could be the mistake here? Because I'm pretty sure this value is in this table because my previous read statements gave me successful results. Now what went wrong? The sort statement. Why? Because I'm sorting it using a field MATKL and I'm reading it using a field P underscore MATNR. It should still work. But the main reason it did not work is I'm using binary search. So the key point of using binary searches when a binary search is used the field that is used in the key must be the field that is used in the sort statement so that's the reason the read statement at line number 31 did not work if i have not used this binary search it would have still worked i will show you that example i will write the same statement again and i will show you that example again the final the, the the read statement will still work when i have not written the binary search the read statement will not work if i read, write a binary search because the key field that i'm using here is not the field that's used in the sort statement now to clear this error next read statement is again using binary search however this time i'm using the sort statement with the same key field that's used in the binary search so the expectation here is this read will definitely succeed Yes, you see, this read statement is successful. The size sub RC is value zero and you have got the index value accordingly. Now, moving on to the last case where I'm sorting this internal table by not giving any field, key field here, but I have given the binary search and along with that, I'm also giving the material number in the key field. This also will get successful because when I have not explicitly mentioned any field in my sort statement, system will defaultly consider the key field of that particular internal table. In our case, the key field is going to be the same key field that is used in the table, which is material number. And the sort statements start, sorts the internal table with respect to all the fields that is present in the table. However, the key field will be considered as the primary field or primary field that is used for the sort condition. Henceforth, our binary search on MATNR field will work by default because LT underscore Mara would have got sorted with MATNR field implicitly. Okay. Now, I hope we have discussed about all this read statements in detail. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that simple example wherein I'll write the same statement again. Okay, I'll write the same statement here, but 
I will not use this search binary search statement. Now let's see. I'll directly place a breakpoint here, and I'll directly go through this execution, and I will show you the statement will still work. So I'm triggering the deb debugger again, uh, and I'm going to the particular read statement. See here, it is sorting with matcl, matkl, and I'm going to show the size sub statement, and I'm going to show the site tabix statement and p underscore matnr value. If you see, I'm sorting it with the matkl, but my read is with the matnr. My read statement will still get successful. You see, that's because I have not mentioned any binary search. System doesn't worry. About the field that's given in the sort statement. So the previous example of the binary search algorithm with simple numbers and the real-time example here in ABAP editor would have given you a clear understanding between the link between the sort statement and the binary search. So primary condition: if you are using binary search in your read statement, ensure the internal table is sorted. How and how the fields are chosen between this? Whatever fields you are giving. As the filter condition in a read statement must be the same fields that has been sorted. I hope this gives you a clear understanding of the read statements that we have been using across our programming lifecycle. So I will meet you all in my next session with more key technical concepts. Until then, thank you everyone for your time. Peace and blessings to everyone.